St. Augustine is a beautiful and historic place to visit. There are many city tours to help you take it all in. We booked several tours during our stay, but it was very overwhelming to pick the right ones for our family. Come along with us as we take you on some of the tours we chose during our 72 hours in St. Augustine, Florida. All across this land are beautiful sights to behold, history to uncover, and places to explore. Colorado Martini has been lucky enough to travel across the countryside to see some of these wondrous sights. This is Colorado Martini on the road. One of our favorite tours was the Sunset Wine Tasting Cruise on the St. Augustine Bay. The cruise takes you on an adventure to the St. Augustine Bayfront, where a tour guide shows you the local nature, wildlife, and famous historic landmarks. As we cruised to the different sites of St. Augustine, we were served six fabulous wines to sample. If wine isn't your thing, there is a bar available on board for purchase of more drinks including sangrias and an excellent variety of beer, wine, champagne, and canned cocktails. Water, soft drinks, and snacks are also available for purchase. They accept cash or card. You are welcome to bring your own snacks or non-alcoholic beverages. Russian millionaire owns this? That's the smallest one. Oh, this is the smallest boat, the captain's saying. He's a Russian millionaire. The tour is only available Thursday through Sunday in the early evenings. The cruise is a 90-minute cruise on a 45-foot pontoon boat called the Osprey. The tour takes you to St. Augustine Bayfront, the Castillo de San Marcos, better known as the Fort, the Big Cross on the Bay's Edge, the Bridge of Lions, and the St. Augustine Lighthouse. Do note that this is an adult-only cruise and that all guests must be at least 21 years of age and have a valid photo ID. They do have other cruises for the entire family.
we purchased the two-day tour on the Old Town Trolley. This gave us two consecutive days of being able to hop on and off the trolley at 22 different trolley stops. The trolley is an open air vehicle, which is perfect for pictures. The trolley driver narrates while driving through the streets of St. Augustine, giving you tidbits of the area. Our package included admission to numerous sites around town, including shuttles to various places. The trolley has exclusive stops to places like the Old Jail, Potter's Wax Museum, and the Old Town Drug Store. For two days, it cost us about $50 per person. If you sign up for their email list, you might be entitled to a discount. trolley tour again. Um, it's really awesome to do because you really get the lay of the land. We like getting on and doing all the whole circuit to kind of get the lay of the land and hear the history and then the second time around we start getting off. With these tickets it included a lot of entry fees to different museums and sites so we're really excited about it. So let's go take a look at St. Augustine, Florida. So the trolley tour here in St. Uh, St. Augustine has free parking in a couple of spots. Uh, we're on the one that's on um, Pons uh, de Leon Street. Um, it's got a lot of shade so it's a really nice one and it's usually not so full as the one more downtown. So oh, you can take your puppy dogs on the tour. <laughs> it's the first Ripley's believe it or not. <laughs> If you look to your right hand side, you'll see a four room log house carved from a single redwood log. So uh, it's a Saturday, so on the weekends they have these like lines that you have to stand in to get on a trolley, but the trolley fits a lot of people, um, so the line probably moves pretty quick. Um, and then they have all these fun stockades and you can get inside the cage and take a picture. Um, it literally is next door to the Fountain of Youth Park, which is that driveway right there. Um, but they, they have the old jail. That's the site we're at is the site number one for the trolley tour. But they do have a lot of these fun things. Um, I just, it's nice and shaded. This is the old jail. And wow, that's like a noose. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Full on noose. So the traffic in St. Augustine, especially on the weekends, is really bad. Um, I think if I, when I come back here, I am going to stay at a hotel that's more in the old town area where everything's walking distance. So a lot of the, the tours, like the trolley tour and stuff, 
they're good, but I'm just, some of the things are just a little bit too cheesy for me. Um, I just kind of think I would enjoy being on my own a little bit more and walking around. Um, so, you know, I totally suggest you taking them, especially if you have a hard time walking around because it really takes you around the town. Um, but I'm kind of bummed that I did the two day trolley tour rather than one day. I really didn't need the second day. During our short time in St. Augustine, we came across many other tours. One was a pirate ship. Word of mouth has it that the pirate ship is a perfect venture for families with young children. If you are looking for a more adult themed cruise, try their Rum Runner Cruises. So they also have these tours that are these little choo choo trains. Um, we're doing the old um, trolley tour and this is a, a different one. Let's see what the name is as it goes by. The Red Train Tours. So you can rent these little carts. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who made them. Those are fun. Look at this boat. Tell me that's not fun. It's the tiki, the tiki bar. So there's just so many great tours in this town. These boat tours, I personally, are some of my favorite. Um, the trolley tour is great. It gives you a good history lesson. It, you know, shows you around town. But you know what? I, I'm actually enjoying more just kind of finding things on my own and things that I had already investigated before I came. But I'll tell you one thing. My favorite so far has been these boat tours. I really, really enjoyed those. So I am bummed that I bought two days on the trolley. A lot of time's wasted waiting on a trolley to come by, getting back to your hotel with the shuttle. I really made a mistake by getting two days on the trolley. Um, tomorrow's our second day and we're, we're not even gonna use it. It just, we seem like we could get to places quicker because a lot of things are walking distance. Um, but yeah, if you're gonna get the, the trolley, just get one day. Also too, a lot of the little extra things that they offer, they're kind of cheesy. I don't know if they're worth the money. <laughs>